हेलो एवरी वन टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ए क्लिनिकल केस दैट इज वोन गर्ग्स डिसीज दिस इज एन इम्पॉर्टंट केस फ्रॉम कार्बोहाइड्रेट मेटाबोलिज्म इट इज ए ग्लाइकोजन स्टोरेज डिसऑर्डर टाइप वन दीज आर द की पॉइंट्स इन द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ वोन गर्ग्स डिसीज फास्टिंग हाइपोग्लाइसिमिया हाइपर यूरिसिमिया हाइपर लिपिडिमिया and lactic acidosis so these are the key points for the diagnosis of von gerg's disease now what are the clinical manifestations the typical age of onset is 3 to 4 months the manifestation starts from the 3 to 4 months of life it is like doll like face with fat cheeks thin extremities protuberant abdomen and short stature short stature then it principally involves the liver so hepatomegaly is there and there is also enlargement of kidneys so three main three organs are involved in the von gerg's disease one is the liver second one is the kidney and third one is the intestinal mucosal cells there is no splenomegaly and no muscle involvement there is no glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme in the muscle that's why muscle involvement is not there in the von gerg's disease this is liver glycogen storage disorder liver glycogen storage disorder laboratory diagnosis will show decrease in the plasma glucose level it shows decrease in the plasma glucose level fasting hypoglycemia is there then hyperuricemia is there it is mainly because of this in this disorder the principal defect is glucose 6 phosphatase this enzyme is deficient so glucose 6 phosphatase it is required for conversion of this glucose 6 phosphate to glucose as there is deficiency of glucose 6 phosphatase this glucose 6 phosphate will accumulate and it is diverted for the production of ribose through the hmp shunt hexose monophosphate shunt there is production of ribose and this ribose sugar these are the precursor molecule for the purine synthesis so there is synthesis of purines and these purines on degradation will give you uric acid that's why there is hyperuricemia in the von gerg's disease why there is fasting hypoglycemia because glucose is not formed and second reason is this accumulated glucose 6 phosphate will inhibit glycogen phosphorylase which is important for glycogenolysis degradation of glycogen into glucose so this is the main reason why there is fasting hypoglycemia okay then there is hyperlipidemia this is because the this accumulated glucose 6 phosphate it is diverted for the generation of acetyl coenzyme a and this acetyl coenzyme a it is a precursor molecule for cholesterol synthesis cholesterol and fatty acid synthesis so that will increase the cholesterol level and triacylglycerol level so hyperlipidemia is there in the von gerg's disease then lactate increase in the lactate level it is because this glucose 6 phosphate via the glycolysis leads to the formation of lactic acid and that results in the acidosis that results in the lactic acidosis so these are the laboratory parameters in the von gerg's disease then this is glycogen storage disorder type 1a there is another variant that is known as glycogen storage disorder type 1b this is due to the transporter defect defect in the translocase which is responsible for transport of glucose 6 phosphate across the endoplasmic reticulum the symptoms are same as that of the type 1 glycogen storage disorder additional symptoms are neutropenia there is decrease in the neutrophil count and recurrent bacterial infection these are the additional features in the type 1b glycogen storage disorder it is due to deficiency of translocase which is responsible for transport of glucose 6 phosphate across the endoplasmic reticulum okay so these are the key points that is fasting hypoglycemia hyperuricemia hyperlipidemia lactic acidosis the important features clinical features are hepatomegaly 
and renal involvement is there. This is the typical appearance that is doll like face, short stature, thin extremities and protuberant abdomen. Okay. Then in the treatment, frequent small meals with modified starch is given. Then protein rich diet is given. Then allopurinol to reduce the uric acid. Allopurinol is a competitive inhibitor of xanthin oxidase. That's why allopurinol is given to reduce the uric acid. Statins, lovastatin, simvastatin, these are given to reduce the cholesterol level. Then symptomatic treatment is given to the patient. Prognosis of one girl's disease is better as compared to the other glycogen storage disorders. So this is all about the glycogen uh, one girl's disease, which is due to defect in the glucose 6 phosphatase so keep watching thank you